look at us, we're on the internet. Boom. Yeah, that's about as good as that gets. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Faces of Kaluos. So if you've been watching all the episodes, this would be number five. And I'm here joined by my amazing guest, Jeremy Gonzalez, and he'll tell you a little bit more about what he does and why he calls himself an artist. Hello. Uh, yeah, I'm Jeremy Gonzalez. Uh, I'm an illustrator and designer. Uh, I work for a brewery in Longwood. So I do merchandise, cans, bottles, shirts, mainly uh, illustrations. There is some design work involved, but it's a pretty cool job. How long have you been working in that type of capacity? Uh, I started in 2012 with the brewery. I didn't start doing cans or bottles till 2014 something like that. And with all the things that you've designed, what is the most interesting thing you think you've designed? I just did a new Asian inspired beer. It's a style that I don't normally play with. I, so I do digital work for the brewery. So we tried to implement uh, more of a traditional painting style using digital techniques. So we did a new one based off a 14th century Chinese emperor. So that's, that's probably been the most interesting one. So you put a lot of research into what you're going to create before you end up with your product. Yes. Nice. Well, thank you again for being on the show. I want to sure. appreciate him for being here. You were actually one of the first people that I told about the show before it was created. Yes. Yes. Very excited that you did this because I'm all about meeting new people, mm -hmm. meeting the artists. I should probably mention that we do an art show at the brewery once a month uh, and we get a lot of new artists that come in. So I've met a lot of artists that way through the shows that you've done at Hourglass. Yes. So you know now from the show that there's two different sections. The first section is the question and answer section and then we're gonna make something together sure you know very little about both of these okay so we have three questions that he's agreed to answer one other question from the internet that we will share and then we have our collaboration round so mr. Jeremy yes. I'm gonna start with the first question that you know about okay which emotion of these four has inspired your art the most fear sadness joy or love I think I would say love. My love and passion for art keeps me growing and experimenting with new techniques, meeting new people, even if it's not digital, because right now I work primarily digital. Traditional techniques help me try new things using digital tools that I use. Nice, so it's kind of a love of art to continue to try different things and see what, what's next for you. Right. Okay. Awesome. That one was pretty harmless. So this one might be trickier because I know when people ask me this, I kind of roll my eyes and say, I don't know, forever. But when did you first call yourself an artist? I would probably say not till 2012, really. When I was younger, you know, my stuff wasn't very good. I had an older cousin who moved in with my grandparents. Every day I'd come home from school and ask him to draw something and then I tried to duplicate it. Uh, and that's, that's pretty much how I started. But I probably wouldn't call myself an artist until I was like making money. Which I think a lot of artists were waiting for that moment. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't call ourselves artists either, but that's great. We have your last question that yeah. you have approved. Jeremy Gonzalez, what is the last thing you Googled? Die Antwood. Oh. Yes. Yeah, did you know that they were in the space gallery? No. About maybe two years ago, when Lightmaker had our little shindig at the end of the year, the guy who was running the snap space in downtown Orlando was talking about how there was something from their music video. <laughs> it was very disturbing. It was very dark. It was like this end of the year holiday party with like sad children and... Is death. this still going on? Oh no, this was years ago. Oh, okay. Well, I probably <laughs> still would have went to go see that. So what made you look it up? We are doing some beers that are being inspired by some of their stuff. It's fun stuff. Sure. I, I kind of heard some of it before we started filming. If you're in the Orlando area, you might want to check out Hourglass for beers you will not find anywhere else. So these two questions, which is a trick that it's one card, two questions. Okay. They're from the internet. Okay. So first question comes to us from Facebook from Jennifer Z. She asks, what art piece did you make that explains your personality? We have a milk stout. It's based off the Morlock, uh, the Morlocks from the time machine. Oh, okay. Oh yeah. Yes. So the guy is totally having a good time in a cave in the darkness, rocking a nice red cap and having a beer alone by himself. And I'm totally cool with that. So you being in this room that's very bright, you might retract back to the cave. Yes. Okay. And then the last question that we have comes from Ashley M, also on Facebook. She wants to know what was your biggest turning point for success? 
leaving the job that I had. <laughs> I felt like uh, I got put into a, a cage in a corner and I couldn't get out. I kept getting a raise. But my heart has always been in art. Uh, it's always been there. And even though I kind of like put it away because I was like, oh, I got to get a real job, support myself. And, you know, in my younger years, it was harder to make money and like survive like that. So I had to take a job and, you know, pay the bills. And I kind of got stuck in that in that corner and somebody woke me up and I walked away from it and I'm happy that I did that. And that can be a terrifying moment because there's no stability on that other side. It's literally a leap of faith. I had a little bit of money saved away, so I'm happy where I'm at. Well, we're happy that you're here and we Thanks. want to totally exploit your artistic ability. All right. We're getting ready now for the <sighs> collaboration round. And so <laughs> We are going to make something together, and you awesome. don't know what that is, but I'm going to tell you what no that idea. is. So I jumped ahead, and we have the collaboration materials out, but before we get to that, I would love to have Mr. Gonzalez here tell us a little bit about what you're working on right now, if there's anything you want to plug, or how can viewers get in contact with you after today? I am constantly working on beer stuff, so uh, I have a Star Wars piece that I've been working on. I've kind of teased it on my Instagram. It's not done yet, so... You can uh, check out my Instagram on uh, jgonzalez underscore art or actually check out my Behance account. It's uh, www.behance.net, J-R-E-M-Y. And if you didn't write that down, which most of us don't, you're gonna find these links down below after the video. But what we're here doing today for our collaboration is testing your ability to draw quickly Ooh. because you obviously have plenty of time to draw these beer labels when you have deadlines. But for today, we are going to try your hand at a five minute drawing okay. and then a one minute drawing. So we're each going to have these beautiful little canvases. Okay. These are our five minute drawings. Okay. But then the, the piece de resistance, the beautiful, the most beautiful drawing that we're going to have is a label for these wine okay. glasses. Now, obviously you're normally doing beer bottles or a little bit smaller, but for the viewers at home so that they get something really nice from you, um, you'll be making wine bottle labels. We'll each be making one of those for one minute each. And so it's collaboration, right? So we're collaborating, okay. but we're also competing. So the internet is going to vote on which one of these pieces they like better. But until then, we're collaborating. So you are going to tell me what to draw in five minutes and vice versa. We have our entire plethora rainbow of permanent markers here to make the designs. And then we will have five minutes to create our little canvases that people can buy after the show. Okay, excellent. Okay, why don't you And do... I didn't think of this either, so we're both thinking of this right now. Uh, an astronaut in space. Oh god, that was good. I'm gonna make you draw your favorite animal. Okay, all right. Mr. Mike, you can we have five minutes on the timer? <laughs> This is... <laughs> this is so bad! Of, this is kind of... This is... Yeah, this needs work. Oh, man. Okay, well, that's... I guess... It, I don't know. I didn't see the timer. Okay, no. well... Well... Um, yeah, it's kind of... <laughs> he's balding. Listen, he's aerodynamic. At least I got both eyeballs. You did. I usually start with my eyes. Is that where you start? I started at the head. Oh, you did? <laughs> So our next part of the challenge is for each of us to design one label to go on these lovely blank bottles. And now gauging that five minute, we have one minute to complete this. I'm just gonna give this to you. You make one on those, I'll make one on this. And so you have to give me the inspiration for my label and vice versa. We can go with the same theme we had before or we can throw a wrench and do something totally different. So you did a lion on there. I think you need to do a tiger on the wine bottle. Okay. Uh, why don't you do Jabba the Hutt on yours? Fuck you! He's easy! It's a minute, okay. you can just pop, 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 pop. I need some greens. What color? He's brown? He's whatever color you want. Okay. Mr. Mikey, can we have one minute on the clock, please? Are you ready? Yeah. And go! <laughs> Our amazing 
amazing pieces that we've just created. You're laughing. I think yes. they were good. I Thank think you. that you were better with the five minute drawing. Yes. I was better with the one minute drawing. Fantastic. They worked best under pressure. So you can now vote on these. You can see it popping up above you the poll to vote on your favorite pieces, whether it was Mr. Gonzalez or myself. In 24 hours, the poll will conclude. We will figure out who among us is the best, obviously. I mean, please. And then after 24 hours, after you're done voting, you can buy these pieces. Don't forget to subscribe and check out all the other videos on the channel. And please check the links below and follow Jeremy Gonzalez and see his art. If you're in the Orlando area, check out Hourglass and the new Sour Glass that's coming Sour soon. That would be awesome. So if you have any questions or if you want your questions heard on the show, comment them below. Thanks again and see you Thank next you. time. Thanks for watching another episode of Faces of Cluos. As you can tell, I have many things that you can purchase on my store, and you can actually purchase the art that was made here today after you vote. Check out some of these other videos, and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any updates. Thanks! Good? Done? Fab. Do you want to take pictures of my dicks now?